What is going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and welcome to Daisy Vanilla Mod Episode 1 Season 1. Maybe possibly the only episode and only season. Uh, this would be my third attempt. Okay, there's a zombie chasing me now. Uh, this would actually be my third attempt at finding a uh, Vanilla Mod server. And whenever I say vanilla mod, that obviously means the original Day Z mod. Uh, I didn't want like traders or missions or anything like that. There was one. Holy shit! There's a ton of zombies here. Uh, but there was one server that I tried out that, um, unfortunately, there was uh, like there was a starting loadout, which I was like, okay, I'm gonna look past this. And then I realized that there were vehicles all over the place, and I don't know, it seemed like it was a combination of Overwatch and, like, Overwatch and Wasteland. Holy shit, I just ran into a zombie right there. But yeah, it just seemed like it was a combination of Overwatch and Wasteland, and I really wasn't digging the whole uh, militarized aspect of that server. It didn't really... It didn't remind me of that original Daisy experience, and I wanted to kind of capture that, and so far it looks like this server may be the right server. Um, there's a shit ton of zombies that are after me right now. I didn't spawn in with a backpack or a gun or anything like that. I haven't even had a chance to look at what gear I did spawn in with, if anything, and... It doesn't look like there's uh, cars all over the place because like in, on this other server that I was on, there was just cars all along the side of the road. Oh, there's a tent right here. But there were cars just all along the side of the road and it did not make any sense to me at all. Okay, so we start off with two bandages and some road flares. So this seems like a pretty legit uh, vanilla server. So hopefully I'm able to make a few episodes on this and uh, kind of get some thoughts and opinions back from you guys and one of the ideas that I thought of while I was on the other server uh, was that it might be a good idea to kind of get y'all's input on where you might like to see me go there's some nails I don't know what I would use those for but yeah just kind of get some thoughts on where you guys would like to see me go as far as uh, different places around the map I mean obviously I'm gonna go to a couple of the airfields holy shit there's a guy over there I don't know if he's armed. He's got some zomb... He does have some zombie aggro on him. Alright, I don't need that for anything. Alright, I'm just going to leave that guy alone, because, I don't know, most of my experiences uh, playing these so-called other vanilla mods, uh, running into people with weapons, is they've never really ended up too well. So, I don't think it's really worth trying to communicate with this guy. But, uh, yeah, I am going to be going around the map to a few different places, obviously, uh... Some of the airstrips, obviously going to visit Electro and Cherno. I'm actually going to uh, go down to Electro right now, uh, hopefully without getting killed. And, um, you know, some of the castles, like Devil's Castle, I might end up going to, um, oh god, what's the name of that place? I, I can't think of it right now, but I mean, obviously I'm going to visit a, uh, visit a few of the landmarks around the map. But if there's somewhere that you would like to see me go, just let me know in the comments and uh, I will I will go there. This is kind of my expedition on a mod that kicked everything off, or at least hopefully this is uh, as as original as the original DayZ mod can get. So. But yeah, right now I'm just going to head down to Electro, and through the magic of video editing, we'll probably be there soon, unless there's something worthwhile in these barns down here, which, I mean, there might not be, so who knows. But I'm going to check it out anyways, try to get some gear, and just experience 
what Daisy used to be, what it started off as, and uh, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll be able to turn this into an exciting event. I'm not exactly sure if this is something you guys would be interested in. Um, I know that most of the time I upload any kind of Daisy videos, they're normally overpock videos, so. That might be what you guys are interested in a little bit more, but I did want something that created a bit more of a challenge to, you know, just get the basic kind of gear. There's some more nails. I'm not exactly sure what those are used for. A can of corn. Can o' corn. Can't go wrong with a can of corn. But, uh, yeah, what is this? String? A bit of string. What can you use string for? I've never seen string in the game, but I'm gonna leave it there. And there really wasn't anything too good in there. I can go to this barn over here. There might be a, like a Winchester or something like that in here. At least get me some kind of weapon. Also, um, the Let's see, the amount of players that are on the server right now, I believe it was at like 43 or something like that when I first started playing. I mean, <coughs> excuse me, I didn't mean to cough. Uh, but yeah, you can see all the players right there on the player list. There's plenty of people on this server, so I mean, I'm hoping to have some friendly interactions perhaps with some people, uh, but it really all depends. Um, not exactly sure how friendly people would be in this mod, obviously because this would be the first time that I've just played like the straight up original vanilla mod for Daisy, but I don't know, we'll see. I thought that was like a knife or something. Let's see, we got a wood pile. Uh, I guess we can take the wood pile just in case we come across some matches I can make a fire maybe cook some some animal flesh who knows what else do we got in here more nails I don't know what the fuck these nails are used for all right so we got a machete so I mean that's not a that's not too bad I mean it's a basic melee weapon so ooh what we got here some Lienfield ammo uh, let's see, sandbags over there. And there's, hopefully, there's going to be something behind here. No? Okay. And there's just sandbags over there. I think I already looked over here once, yeah. And then over there is just the box of nails, right? Uh, let's see. What else is there over in this direction? Can't go in there. Can you open this? No, I can't open that. See, it looks like you could go in there, but I guess not. Um, what is over here? I don't see any other zombies or anything like that. All right, there might be something in the shed up here. I'm probably gonna go check that out. But like I was saying, uh, most of you guys know, if you've been on my channel before, you'll know that mostly I upload Daisy Overpock videos. And like I said, I wanted a bit more of a challenge and just load into something where it's not as easy to get gear. Uh, you can't deploy a bike or anything like that. Like I said, I mean, all I started off with were the the two bandages right here and that thing of road flares. So, and actually I was thinking about making more of the Daisy Origins videos. Holy shit. All right. I came up here for no reason then apparently. But yeah, I was thinking about making more of the Daisy Origins videos, and uh, I mean, obviously, if you guys would be interested in that, also let me know. Um, ooh, hello, sheep. 
I'm uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cut you up. I don't know if I can cut them up with the machete though. Can I gut them with this? No, I'm missing a knife. Okay, I can definitely chop up the zombie though. Oh wow. Oh, what does the zombie have? Painkillers? It's been so long since I've seen loot on zombies. Most of the Overpox servers I play on, the zombies will never have loot on them. It's very, very, very rare that they ever do. Is that another sheep down there, I think? Yeah, that's another sheep. Oh, man. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and head to Electro and uh, see what we can find there. Probably not too much, but you never know.